Hello guys, my name is Ms. Morrison, and we're back with a announcement video for my 24-hour live stream this 31st at New Year New Year's Eve. Well, it's not exactly New Year's Eve; it's going to be New Year's uh, early early morning for Americans. It's going to be New Year morning for everyone that's in my time zone, and it's going to be it's going to go till uh, uh, the same time of day and the next day. So basically, if you're American. New Year's Eve is going to be two hours before the stream ends. So I guess that's a kind of a good way of doing it, you know. We're going to sit there till, you know, however long we damn well please, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And with me, I'm going to bring my best friend, which currently lives in Sweden, really. He's soon actually moving over here, so that's going to be great. We're probably going to do more streams after that, and more general stuff. And um, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to have the... The longest part of our stream is going to be some uh, WWE wrestling games on emulator. Um, PS2 emulator and some on GameCube emulator, since not all of them are in this, on the, every console. And we're going to have much fun with that. It's going to be at least 10 hours of that in total. And we're going to have at least some of uh, Warcraft 3 with different stuff. We're going to play some Bleach, which is One Piece. Play some um, Fire of Characters, which is pretty much the same thing, just with more from different uh, animes and stuff. And then we're gonna do some Minecraft on this world, as you can see right here, which is the r r world that I used to make this giant arena by hand, which took freaking ages, and it really did pay off. Some things are unrealistic, like it just hanging from the glass roof, but that's gonna get fixed. I'm gonna have beams going down that way, that way, that way, that way. That gonna work like rafters. It's gonna hold them up, and uh, well, they'll hold up, but still. And I spent so much time in this arena. It's like seriously, I, I went all out just to make this arena like like it is now. And um, you can see, there's a lot of redstone work in, involved in this. Redstone's hidden up here, the only place that is really hidden. And then down here, it's not hidden at all. And then there's some down there that's not even hidden at all. And um, yeah, that's a lot of redstone. You might wonder. What's all that redstone for? I'll show you later as it becomes nighttime, time or I'm just too lazy and I end up just turning it nighttime myself. But entrance, it's gonna be over here. That's the main entrance for people to, to other people to get into arena. Down here I don't know what it's really for. It's kind of just a room you can have. I might as well just block that up later, but I don't know yet. And then down here's the entrance for people going backstage. Right under redstone. Why is there a creeper in the freaking doorway? Get out of here, creeper. Get out. Get out. Get out. You freaking dick. But yeah, um, this is the whole entrance area. You can see there's a door that closes and opens, and uh, or opens or closes, depends on what way you want to see it. Windows behind the fire, so don't people actually see people looking through the glass. A switch, which is pretty much the whole enchilada. Why are you coming in here like you want to attack me? I'm in freedom mode, and why did I have to be in haste? Oh, never mind. I'd have to, um... Beacons over here. I'm good, not good with names of stuff. Um, and you might wonder yourself, what kind of arena is this? It's a wrestling arena, pro wrestling arena. Monday Night Raw. And uh, spend some time on this. I had to go through a lot of different things to make sure the look colors right because I couldn't use wool. But uh, I did use wool, but it's by the ladders, so you can't really see it. And you might wonder why there are ladders because people can't really just jump over these things unless they can fly. That's why there's ladders here, so you can just do this. And th that adds a lot of features. You know, you can go outside, you can go on the turnbuckle and jump on somebody, like, whoa! And, you know, it really makes more sense. Uh, the only part is, uh, you can't actually get out of the ring. <laughs> unless you can fly, so, you know. You can have to kind of do this and then go up there, and it's like, whoa! So, you know, it's kind of a... It's, a, it's really a prototype. There's not really a good way to make a ring in Minecraft yet. So I just kind of went with the flow of it. And, um, yeah, this is what I've done on this world so far. There's only one thing left to show you. Uh, no, it's time set, actually. 18,000. And you see, oh, it's dark, and there's not many lights, except the beacons and the fire and the redstone torches and stuff. And then you can see the switch. You might wonder, hmm, I think I know where this is going. Flip the switch, and the arena completely fills up with light. That took me about six hours to make. After straight making it, like, and I made it before even. Someone's coughing sound on my window. Shut the fuck up. Um, 
but yeah, this is it's pretty much it. And yeah, if you dig under this place, there's enough redstone to fill a complete freaking city or two, in fact. And it's just one arena. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of overboard on it, but I wanted to make it as realistic as possible since there's always lights in all the way, all over the way in the arenas. So that's why I made it that way. And um, yeah, I guess that's the whole arena. And um, yeah, and I was gonna play Terraria in the live stream, of course. Uh, I'm kind of backtracking now, back to where I was actually going with the conversation here. And we're gonna play, um, uh, of course, Minecraft of this world. And we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna play some uh, uh, the what it's called escapes me at the moment. Um, damn. Uh, yeah, I think I actually said everything. I'm just kind of confused at this point. I don't really have anything to refer to as I'm playing, but it's not completely decided yet. It might change some things, we're definitely going to keep the same for the emulators, and then Minecraft's going to be the same maximum two hours, because you know, playing alone and the person watching is not always the most fun. And that's going to be like somewhere in the middle, so we can get a break from other stuff, and then Bleach will be somewhere around the middle as well. So you know, I kind of basically you know, I'm like to put three hours of emulator first. After that, I'm going to do Minecraft, and then six hours. After that, Bleach, and then six hours, em em uh, three hours of Emulator again. And then Terraria is going to be somewhere either for first bef before anything or after everything. So I might split it up even more, but I'm not sure yet. So as for now, as easy as you know, I'm going to do it on the 31st. The time, uh, I'm probably going to put it in the description if I find out. But at least for my time, it's going to be at 12 o'clock. But that's in Norway. You might be able to figure that out yourself, but I kind of want to give you the whole enchilada bit of information, that's for sure. And then the description is going to be updated most likely. If I forget, then I'm a dumbass, and I should probably hit myself in the face. But yeah, until next time, guys, I'll probably see anyone that's seen this video in the live stream since, well, most of the your base pretty much abandoned me, but I'm not going to be playing. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys in... Hope you guys enjoyed the information I just gave you. And I hope I hope to see you on the 31st. Goodbye.